Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we encountered Satros and Gang's vicious work on the soldiers and scholars of Tolby. This time around, we are going to ignore that in order to screw around in this place. Lelivero is what it's called. And yes, I totally just had to look to remember the name. <laughs> Thyron followed Sheba. I'm sure he'll rescue her. I still want to know why all the water is freaking purple, but anyway. His wife seems very calm, considering. Deep down, she must be worried about Sheba. We received Sheba from the sky and raised her lovingly. I know Farron will rescue that child. Receive her from the sky, you say? Is that a euphemism, or...? I mean, you couldn't be being literal, could you? Could you? Uh... Hmm... So what's in the box? It's a helmet. A bitchin' helmet. It boosts earth power and critical hits. It is basically custom made for Ivan. I mean Isaac. Uh, I don't really want to lose the, the PP boost, but it's worthwhile for this thing. And what, like, well it's plus 10, but the critical hit increase is actually a huge deal. Well, sort of. I mean, the catch is that most of the time, I'm going to... If it's a big enough threat that I'm not using regular attacks of Isaac, I'm probably going to be using Ragnarok instead of relying on Unleashes. But, eh, anyway. Ooh, shiny! It's a lucky metal! She, if Sheba can't use her powers in a time like this, they're useless. Her powers, you say? Could Farron have tricked us all? What? If Sheba does have mystic powers, she couldn't have been taken hostage. Um, that is bad logic. Oh hey, this is the weapon shop. The sign is different. Well, this is where I wanted to be. Silver Blade, Swift Sword, um, Righteous Mace, Crystal Rod. Right, well, I'm gonna sell my stuff first. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Let's see, get rid of the Adept's helmet. Uh, you don't actually have anything to get rid of. You do. Okay. Armor, please. Magical Cassock. Replenishes PP. Mirror Shield. Deluse enemies. Jeweled Crown boosts luck. Actually, is this, um... Hmm... Used to cure ailments. Not as useful as it sounds. Okay, that's plus four, that's plus four. So... Spirit Gloves increases elemental power. What does the armlet do? Where is it? There. It's, it has a use effect, so that's actually not very useful. Hmm. Let's see. There was also the helmet. This prevents delusion. Pre wait, what? It... what? It can break? 
Mm -hmm. And this increases agility. Actually. That gives her more agility than Garrett again. I actually want her to be in last. So I'm not gonna do that. But it does tell me who is gonna take the hat. The fancy new hat. Throw it onto you. Yep. Sounds good. I'll take it. And you are also gonna go on her. And... Let's see... Hmm... This thing is really good for the defense. But I'm not sure if the attack power is more worthwhile or not. I think Isaac's attack power probably is, because he gets a whopping plus 14. Garrett gets plus 10, which is still pretty damn good, though. Hmm. This also increases Garrett's defense a lot more than it does Isaac's. But let's look at this first. Hmm. I'm definitely wanting this on someone, I just don't know who. Kimono gives you f her fire resistance, I think. What is the bless- the bless robe gives him HP regen. Hmm. I think this is probably more worthwhile on you. And actually, if it lowers her agility enough, then I can put the, uh... Then I can swap their hats. Because she'll be slower than Garrett. Maybe. Well, this is probably worthwhile. Mirror Shield is a harder decision. Hmm, you know, I think I will put this on Garrett. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, now then. This increases agility by 20, so if I gave this to you, you would still be slightly faster than Garrett, for crying out loud. Oh, uh, well. Actually, she has the speed boosts on her. Or speed boots. No, she doesn't. She has fur boots. Oi. She actually doesn't have anything that increases her. <laughs> oh well. I'll just keep the hat situation the way it is. I suppose. Let's look at your armor. I don't think I want to buy it though. Yeah. The extra effects on this stuff is m more worthwhile than the defense boost in this case. Hmm. Now then, the Weepons. Aqua Sock. Hmm. I don't think that's actually necessarily worthwhile, because right now I mostly have things that are elemental appropriate on my people, and that can actually make a pretty- at this point that can actually make a pretty substantial difference to your damage. It's hard to say though. It's hard to predict. Let's see, that's stronger than the Ninja Blade. It's stronger than everything. The Ninja Blade is really nice, though. Okay, well... That's plus seven. That's plus five. This is worthwhile. I don't want to sell that yet. Now, I also... Righteous Mace. That's plus 18, that's plus 15, that is plus a lot. But, here's the thing, Crystal Rod. That's plus 21. And it's water-lined. So, 
So, actually, I wonder. That's what I thought. Crystal Mace now. Binding Smog. Eh. He has the sword, right? Yeah, he has the acid thing that lowers attack power. Mm. This is only plus 10 on both of them. So... I think Gareth's weapon is a little bit stronger than the Isaac's sword, but... Let's buy this for Isaac. No. Now, I need to look at that... those other weapons. I need to look at this. Okay, that's weaker. And I need to look at... this. Which is also slightly weaker. Okay. Sell that. Sell this. And I don't really like putting this on Garrett, to be honest. But it's probably the best thing for him. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay then. And we're done here. That took a while. Item shop. Nope. Sure, why not? I mean, I may as well. I am actually legitimately running out of money now. Well, sort of. I mean, I've spent a huge amount of my money at this point, so... I guess it. this does help me get more game tickets, so that's something. Ooh, shiny! An antidote? Sell that shit. I mean, it's kind of funny for me that, that the game tickets, the thing that I totally disregarded before, are actually more valuable. Because they give you all, all the equipment things for slots that you normally can't use. Which is actually really good. Hmm, I need to get up there somehow. They say a man named Iodem is coming from Tolby. <laughs> no one's called me, so maybe I'll take a nap. You do that. Hmm. How do I get on this roof, though? I see that up there, so there must be some way. Ooh, it's a genie! Actually, I knew that genie was there. Really. I mean it. I don't know how to get up there, though. Let's see... Nope. Wait. Okay. I guess I'll stay here. Okay, that was like a thir nearly a 30 coin increase from the last- wait no, maybe it was 20 coin. Was the last place 81 or 71? I don't remember. Clearly. Ooh, shiny! It's a lucky metal. Awesome. Nothing in here, though. Or in the hall. Now then... I knew that Ginny was there, but what I don't know is how to get to it. I think I need to go around the wall? That sounds reasonable. 
Let's see. Perhaps I can... No. Not quite. Oh, you know what? I can jump on... I can go onto the roof of that building. And then from there, I can get on the other wall. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Right idea, wrong house. So let's head over there. I suppose. I thought I'd already gone in here, though. Hmm. I guess I didn't go in the back of the weapon shop. Oh yeah, there's a ladder right here. Didn't even notice it. The rumbling at the ruins have been a warning. Or must have been, rather. Yeah. Could be. Ah, there's nothing. Oh, there's something in that pot. Shiny! Must have shiny! It's a water of life. Wow, actually, that's... That's probably one of the best random pickups. Not particularly useful, but... Best. It's certainly one of the most expensive. <laughs> No shinies here, but there is a Ginny! The final fire Ginny! I'm quite certain that this one deals damage, but other than that, I don't really know what its ability is. Yeah, Torch! Sounds like a damage dealer to me. Uh, penetrate defense with a melting blast. Okay, so it, it just hits people, possibly lowering their defense afterwards. Possibly. Anyway, we seem to be about- I need to talk to this guy. But other than that, we seem to be about done screwing around in Lalivero. So I guess we should go on to Babby's Lighthouse. Hmm. What is this thing? Oh, there's a Psy Crystal there! Go figure. I didn't even... Hmm. It's so obvious that I didn't think to check it. Babby's most precious belonging is kept here. Well, maybe his third most precious. But... I see. Well, let's save. And then in we go. We haven't been ordered to start working yet. Are we off today? There were strange folk going into the ruins. Farron followed them. Hmm. What's over there? Probably nothing, but... Ooh, there's a box! that we can't actually get yet. This thing? We can push this thing, but it's sort of like a half block. And you need something special in order to... or there's something special you can do with this kind of block. Which... hmm... which we can't do yet. So, I guess that means there's only one way to go. That was terrible! We were absolutely no match for them. Let's go down. Interesting. Oops, that was wrong. And there's another ladder over there, so why don't we just... do this? <laughs> then we can just move again. Now then, what's back here? It is... a plant. Okay then. If you're gonna be that way. What's up here? A secret entrance. 
Only one way down. Oh, but first, skeletons. Hmm. You know, I think the bonus effect from the other swords were better. But these deal way more damage. Mother Gaia, awesome. I was wondering when I would get that. I mean, it's not really a very important ability, but haha, <laughs> it's a Ginny! Oh, you're gonna fight me? Really? Hmm. Didn't expect that. Actually. Forge and... There we go. That is so fast. Freaking... Freaking duper, Ginny. Let's see... Let's try to paralyze it. And... Ragnarok followed by Flint. Then, I don't think I have anything that can... Oh, let's use this, actually. I want to see what happens. And Icehorn. Did not paralyze it, but it didn't run away either, so that's fine. I didn't think I would have to fight this one, actually, to be honest. Oh, that killed it. And I almost finished it off with Flint, too. Oh well. No biggie. And we got the last Jupiter Ginny. Luff, which, what does the hell does Luff do? Seal Synergy. Luff is not very useful. It is a lot more reliable than the actual seal spell, but chances are anything you really want to seal the synergy on, it, it will probably not work. I mean, it is a chance to work. I don't think there's anything in the any bosses where this is 100% guaranteed to fail, uh, with maybe one exception. But it's not likely to succeed on any of the real big problem enemies. Anyway, let's go down into the ruins. We now have all but one Ginny. But we aren't going to get that for at least a little while longer. Let's keep going down, because it seems like the thi Oh. Okay. So much for that plan. Manticore King. Haha, -ha, crit boost. Oh, you're faster than Maya. That's unfortunate. Did I just one shot kill that monster? Because that looked like an instant death effect. I mean. Seriously? I spent how long trying to get the Assassin's Blade to work and then this works on the first time when I don't even know it, it does that? Uh, that's a little frustrating. Okay, so I don't know which one of these I actually want to jump down. Let's go with this one. No, that seems to have been wrong. Third time's the charm. Or second, depending on how you count it, I suppose. Oh, I'm quite deep now. Orc Lord. Hmm... I really wish I could get Maya to be a little bit faster. <laughs> the problem is, if she's... It seems that she is just slow enough that... I want her to be at about 120. Is the thing. 
Well, hopefully I'll hit it before it becomes an issue, but her being just slower than bosses is can be is going to be a big problem potentially. You're sure they went through this door? Yes, they opened the stone and entered. Doesn't look like it. Won't budge, you say? Of course not. I told you, this door does not open. If it did, we would have gone long ago to study the ruins. But I'm certain they went through this door. And I'm saying no one has ever gone through here. Yep, that's Iodem. Faran! I am so sorry about Shiva. Why did this sort of thing have to happen? Are Felix and the others beyond this door? Yep, beyond that door that no normal man can enter. Well, probably. Iodim, just who are these people? They came from far to the north. They have chased the ones who took Sheba all the way here. They've been chasing that fearsome group? Yes, they are most fearsome. Such awful power, and what they're trying to do seems very dangerous. We're the only ones here who can stop them. The only ones. Well, actually, that's probably true, to be honest. Ah, uh, probably. You seem quite sure of yourself, but what do you think you can do? I have never heard such harsh words from you, Faran. What do you expect when in the midst of such dangers? You ask me to leave Sheba's fate to the hands of children? If you want me to trust them, they must give me reason to trust them. First, you will have to demonstrate your powers to us. I'm fairly certain I can. Okay, yeah, do that. And on that note, we will have to show them next time, because I'm at 28 minutes. So, uh, oops, that was my own fault. Um, so until next time, when I open the door and chase after Satras and Merity, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day as I kill this Chimera. There we go. Bye!